Just what is it that you want to do? Well, we want to be free. We want to be free to, to do what we want to do. And we want to get loaded. And we want to have a good time. And that's what we're going to do. Hey guys, Todd here. Blog. It's blog time. I've not done a blog for two or three weeks, I think. Ah, Peter, too hot, too hot. Uh, right, it's a Sunday. I'm uh, just back from walking the dog. I am in what they call slob mode. Not shaving, uh, skanky old top and my jeans and raring to go. Um, right, everything that's been happening in the past week, you'll know because you'll have seen the reviews. Hopefully. Um, I am still currently loving my claw. Uh, I'm just loving this to bits. Um, there was somebody commented and saying that they were worried about the, you know, the claws being a bit fragile and whatnot. They wouldn't want to take that out and about with them. No, I wouldn't take that out and about with me. I'd be worried that I'd lose it. Love it to bits. Uh, I started. <laughs> I started off. Uh, I made a wee, a wee holder for it just so it was. And some of the comments were just priceless. Uh, some folks said it looked like a pair of stilettos for Pinocchio. Um, it was a ski ramp for Morph uh, and various other things, which just cracked me up. Uh, I did start off, it was meant to be all one piece, but then because, you know, I had I might have uh, rebuildable atomizers on it as well, uh, I wanted the width and something to hold it, so so that's what I ended up with. doesn't look great, but that's the job, uh, and it's got pride of place just beside my desk here, so happy, happy, happy as Larry. Uh, I've never met anybody called Larry, are they always happy? Anyway, uh, what else has been going on? I'm parceling up a few things to send out. Uh, I've got sold my Orion. My Orion is going. Uh, it's going to Malaysia. Malaysia? Or whatever, however you pronounce it. Uh, I had to sell that because uh, there's a couple of things. I'm Well, I bought the claw when my budget was a bit... Uh, under the weather, so the Orion had to go for that. Plus, I've got the the GBL Hybrid coming up, which I really want to buy. So uh, I need pennies for that as well. So uh, if the uh, GBL Hybrid vapes as well as the you know standard GBL, then uh, I'll be very happy. Plus, the other thing that's nice about it is you can use it as a standard 510 mod because uh, it comes with a different top cap. It's pretty smart. Um, I've got from Pink Mule, uh, company Pink Mule, and uh, they're sending me on an IT, an I taste, an Inikin SVD. Um, so that'll be getting reviewed at some point, and I've got a couple of the new drip tips from Siam Mods. Uh, Pink Mule are sending them on as well, so if they're up to the usual standard of Graham, uh, I'll be very happy. Uh, Ah, uh, what else have we got? Somniums. Uh, a som Damn. Damn is here. Sorry. Um, that's that shot. Uh, Somniums. I've got the Somnium standard rebuildable atomizer coming. But I've also got the Somnium hybrid coming as well. Should be here this week. Um, now, the Somnium hybrid that I'm getting, it uh, looks looks stunning. Uh, it's a pre-production one, so uh, there's a couple of little tweaks that I've, I've got to make to it, uh, but uh, it, it looks really nice, so I'm excited to get both of them. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, and and that, that's about it, I think. Uh, I haven't bought anything else. I'm like, oh no, uh, the Carfanis telescopic tubes for the for this thing, the, the EVIC, which uh, I should dust down because it's 
it's not really getting used. Um, so I've put my name down the list and payments due today. So oh, is that a video just? No. Uh, I was going to say I thought that might be an email for it now, but it's not. So hopefully that'll be out this week as well. Um, and that'll be the deciding factor on whether or not I keep the evic. I have my doubts. Anyway. Um, the GKMF rebuildable atomizer. Uh, it's a good turnout for that. 301 people. Uh, that's going to Israel. Uh, that's behind me. Waiting to get posted. And what else have I got? Alright. Oh, yeah. And the... Uh, GU, I'll have to send back to uh, my partner in crime because uh, I'm terrified to have it around here any longer than I've had it. Uh, still a nice mod. It's a, it's a beautiful mod. It really is, but the price point is just. If the price, I mean, I don't know if a lot of folk know, but you know, when it first came out and there was lists in the forums, it was quite a reasonable price. You know, it was. Uh, but then it went, the price went up, and then it went to a vendor, and then the price went up again, and then all these people are selling it in the classifieds for insane amount of money. Uh, and I'll say this because at the end of the day, it is a battery tube, you know? Uh, you get really nice battery tubes and really efficient battery tubes with brass and copper and stuff like that, laser engraving and so on, but uh, just getting a bit silly sometimes, I feel, but uh, uh, what else? I, I got from uh, a lovely lass girl in uh, Romania, sent me a brass centre post for my Nova, uh, 18350 hybrid, and so that's uh, that's just brass switch now as well, brass contact up here. It's just awesome. Um, what I've also done for those that are interested. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Oh. No, there you go. I've reduced the throw on the button. That's all I've got now. I mean, it used to be about three times the length of that, the throw. But it's now down to that. And it's just the locking rings. Uh, well, the locking ring. Oh, I've not tightened it up properly. That's what's wrong. Silly boy. Uh, the locking ring is just two spins, or just one spin, and it locks now, so I, I'm really chuffed with that. Uh, for me, I mean, I mentioned in a, another video that, uh, you know, my my love, or not love, but, the, you know, the fact that I really like the Nova. Uh, that's it. And uh, still maintain the same, I think, for the money. If you got one of these new, you know, on the Romanian forum, or you were on that list, and you got it for what he was selling it for, which, I mean, they were go I think they were going for about 70, 65, 70 quid. Insane value for money. Insane. Um, they are going to be going up for sale on Vaporwall. Um, he's got, I think he's going to be starting a list up there soon, and I think it's going to be 120 euros. Uh, I don't see this lightly, but if you can bag one of these for that, for a good price, stunning. Uh, anyway, uh, what else have we got in the go? Uh, not a lot. Um, the next giveaway will be, I'm not going to do one this week. Uh, I'm going to leave it, uh, because I want to actually get a bit more use out of the origin before I do a follow up on it. So this will probably be going up as a giveaway next weekend. So keep your eyes peeled for that one. Uh, which leads me on to referencing uh, something that got commented on in Facebook. I don't go pouting or 
are looking or ask anybody to subscribe. It's entirely up to you. Don't recommend me. Don't feel you have to. Uh, you know, all the information's on my webpage or YouTube channel, so you can just pick it up there. Uh, you know, the competitions will always be on the YouTube channel. Competitions will always be posted on the web page and the competitions will always be posted on my Facebook page. So you'll always one of those avenues uh, you'll you'll see it. So you don't have to subscribe to everything, you don't have to partake in everything, so don't worry about that. Uh, it's just whatever you want yourself. Um, regarding uh, messages, emails, comments left Facebook messaging, things like that. I swear to God, I really try my best to answer everything. I really do. Uh, and if you knew the locations I was in half the time when I'm replying to your messages, <laughs> you'd cringe. Um, so if you don't get immediate answers or you don't get an answer at all, I can be a right ass sometimes. I mean, I can be a right arsehole. Uh, if you post a question asking me, have you reviewed the L Rider Robust? Chances are, depending on how much of an ass I'm feeling that day, I might not even reply. First port of call, go to my YouTube channel and do a search. If it doesn't appear there, ask me anything. If it appears there, then ask me anything based that isn't in the review. Uh, you know, I spend a lot of, oh god, this is a rant. Sorry. Uh, I spend a lot of time, you know, doing the reviews and stuff like that. Uh, so, please, watch the review before you comment or ask me a question, please. Um, there you go, that's the grump out of the way. Sorry. Uh, the other thing is, uh, on my Facebook page, if, if I delete a comment, I'll always send you a message telling you why. I, 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 I try my best to keep everything relative to what I've reviewed or what people want to talk about. I haven't an issue with that. But if people are going to start posting links to shops, uh, that have nothing to do with the review or just, you know, people publicising other sh shops, reviews, things like that. Other reviews I don't really mind because I think it's great to get other information, but uh, vendors and stuff like that, I, I'll honestly, I'll just delete them because unless I have used the vendor, uh, I'm not going to recommend them or on my Facebook page. Sorry. Uh, and I get a lot of vendors trying to join my Facebook page or like or whatnot. If I don't know you, if I haven't used you, then sorry, but the chances are I'll just ignore your request. God, that was right. Fucking miserable that, wasn't it? Uh, right, ramble over. Um, I've nothing else to talk about. That's 13 minutes. That's far too long for a blog. Um, I'm going to have another crack at DIY e-liquid. I'm going to, I'm slowly but surely running out of e-liquid. I think I've got about 30ml of Grant's Vanilla Custard left, some Redwood Blend, we drop a menthol, and my, my, my one and only pixie juice bottle of cool orange which gets used very sparingly 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 uh, oh and I've got my frostbite as well um, so I'm going to make up a batch I think I'm going to have a crack at making my own vanilla custard uh, I've seen a few recipes on the net and uh, I, I've got a few bits and bobs that I'll throw in and uh, I'll see how I get on with it but uh, Right guys, uh, we'll see you through the week, but uh, I am now off. Have a good one. Speak to you later. Bye now.